Well, hello, family and friends. It's your boy Trexus here, coming at you today to introduce a new series of uh, fun videos that we're going to be doing uh, involving ballistic gelatin, oversized rubber dummies, and uh, Fort Scott Munitions TUI rounds. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, um, Fort Scott Munitions is a company that makes a round that tumbles multiple times when it enters into soft flesh. A lot of people say, well, it stops tumbling once you introduce four layers of denim or once you introduce a two by four, those different types of things. These are actually comments that I've read on the internet from people that have claimed that they've tested this. Well, we're gonna put it through the, uh, the uh, ever reliable SIG uh, uh, <laughs> P365 or what some people call the ever reliable. Uh, I, I've not had any problems with mine. And this is the defense ammo I carry for it. And we're gonna see what it does against denim two by four and the actual ballistic gelatin itself. So let's get started. So first up, we wanna thank the wonderful people at Clear Ballistics and show you that this is indeed fact, a 10% gelatin according to FBI standards. Um, and uh, it's nice and clear too, so we can see what's going on. So we definitely wanna thank the people at Clear Ballistics for sending us this. Uh, without this, it's not gonna make this series possible. So guys, go show them some love, go subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. We've also got some denim here. Now this denim is like, it's basically medium. It's not super heavy and it's not super light. It, it feels very medium-ish. I pulled it off of a Canadian tuxedo. And a lot of people are gonna ask, well, Baron, why are we doing, whoopsie daisies. Why are we gonna do one, two, three, four layers of denim. That's a fantastic question. I'm glad you've asked it. So primarily why we're doing uh, four sets of denim is because this is what people have been doing for a long time to replicate kind of this um, extreme standard that if uh, a hollow point or if a defense round can uh, perform nicely through four layers of denim, imagine that it, it, there's not very much clothing that's gonna be as condensed and as tightly fibered and as woven as denim is. So it's kind of like the uh, poor man's Kevlar vest, so to speak. So that's the idea. So we're not uh, invading Canada anytime soon or anything like that. <laughs> Sorry for the jokes, Canada. my Canadian brothers and sisters. Sorry for the jokes, but it is, uh, it is a highly um, kind of standardized test for the the, uh, the ballistic gelatin. So we're gonna do it through those because I've already done videos of just straight ballistic. So we're gonna see if it punches through this and then we're gonna do, uh, use a two by four. Now we got wrapped chow. All right, so we got our first layer, our second layer, our third layer, and our fourth layer. Punch a couple holes right there. We're gonna do one. We're here at uh, three yards out of this sig. We're gonna do one. We're gonna look at it, reset it, and then do it again. So here we go. Clear this pistol. Get these mosquitoes out for me. Let's see what happened. Oh, there's that tumble effect that we like. And it looks like the bullet went through. I'm not sure. It went through all the denim. It had that nice big tumble effect right there. Looks about an inch and a half wide at its widest point. But where did the bullet go? Here's the bullet. And I want to let it, you know that I found it right wedged in between the dummy and the actual table, the actual, uh, cardboard and notice how there's no real huge mark on the dummy I believe that this has to be its mark and that's just a lot of people talk about over penetration as it being like things that kill children um, and I'm just not seeing that from the velocity that this is a 16 inch block so we're getting that 18 to 22 inches of penetration as we've seen in previous videos but I, I just don't see where it's coming out at any kind of lethal velocity to really hurt people. But I'm, I'm a novice when it comes to this. Let's shoot more. Let's go over the more of the side right there. Clear it, make it safe. Let's go see what's going on. All right, so we're seeing I mean, uniformed tumbling. 
uniform tumbling. That's tumbling right there. And it's tumbling at this primary one, and it looks like it's tumbling at the second one as well. If we go down and look at the, ooh, that's a big bubble. But that one caught, it's kind of distorted. And of course, the round's just laying right there. If we look at the dummy, oh, we got one round. Okay, this is the stuff I want to see, but we have one round. But if you look at the wound channel, right, it's coming out and exiting what looks to be at little resistance. But so that is, that's in there, that's in there. So maybe I misspoke that first time I talked about it. All right, let's see what we did. We got that bottom wound channel there. And it opened up and did everything very nicely. Yes, thank you very much. Did it penetrate to the point of, nope, it just fell down there on the ground. So that's what I, there's something that it's like, hey, why did it penetrate this? And it's not even leaving marks on the dummy over here. That's why I think I maybe caught an outside edge or something. Who knows? All right, as you can see, we, we have some wound cavities here with the first tumble. We have a two inch wound cavity on this right one right here. On this, uh, another one on the far left, the one that exited out prematurely, that's another uh, one and 75, one or hundreds it looks like. So one and three quarters of an inch. And then when we look at the sides, we see kind of the same pattern, if you will. Let me get this tape measure going here. I mean, you can see, oops, you can see how deep some of these are, right? On this middle one, you've got at least two inches for sure. On that middle one right in the middle, although it's kind of hard to see. Talk about that middle one. And then you look at just incredible amounts of damage for that first tumble. Going through tuxedo. All right, so now we have a two by four. And two by four is treated wood. Uh, I don't, I'm not a wood expert, but here I am at three yards. All right, are you ready? Stand by. Going low on this one. Make it safe. Let's go see what it did. So we see how an intrude, and then it's that low one right there. You can see where this is the one. See that pathway from the wood? That's the one we're trying to look at right there. Oh, and what a beautiful job it did. That's incredible. So that's that wound right there. It does go all the way, but it doesn't go all the way through. In fact, it tumbles all the way to the rear. You can pull it out. That's one of the benefits of using like a solid projectile is you don't have core jacket separation. Beautiful tumble right there. Now let's get it in focus. Beautiful tumble right there. And you can see it straight to front to back. We're going to try to put one up in here now. Okay, let's do that top left pattern, or that top left kind of quadrant, so to speak. And here we go. Safe. So there's the entry, and it flew out. It flew out. And hit the dummy because there's the wood so that wasn't a very good entry or uh, uh, pet channel because it left early but that's still a good wound size I'd say that's about an inch let's uh let's do it again and let's just do it over here because you, you're gonna be able to see it still all right so we've entered 
And essentially what it looks like is it's this middle cavity came through. Looks like it hit. What well, came through at least. But it's this middle cavity right in here. See this right here? That's that middle cavity right there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Still same kind of results of what we're getting. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. Well, we did find the bullet from the last one and it was just uh, laying there on the ground. So again, not that over penetration factor, but still went all the way through the, the block and that. We're gonna do four layers of denim and we're gonna turn this two by four on its side and see what kind of <laughs> what we get. All right, let's do this, the lower part of this two by four because uh, we've got some great stuff going on. Stand by. Make this pistol safe. Let's see what happened. There's no way it did. Okay. Finally, the round came down here. But look at that. It hit and it tumbled. And it went. If this is 16 inches, that's got to be about the 13 mark. 12, 12 and a half, 13 mark, right? That's what it did. Even though I went through four layers of denim and a two by four long ways, right? It still managed to tumble. That's pretty cool. So this is the beautiful picture that we get from um, Fort Scott. And uh, you know, everything from the denim test to the two by four test, it, it's obvious that because there's nothing plugging up this quote unquote hollow point, right? It's not a hollow point, it's a tumbling round. But normal hollow points get plugged up with intermediate barriers like uh, two by fours, denim, um, glass, all those different types of things. And that's why uh, companies put, you know, different tips at the beginning of it so it doesn't flood that uh, cavity that they're trying to allow that meat to get a hold of. So that is what it is. So just a recap. Um, we still we saw great performance more so than not and obviously we saw this way over penetrated round that came out the side is what we were able to determine it came out the actual side of it so it didn't have gelatin to go through so of course it's going to stick in there a little bit of waste and as we noticed that um, when we saw earlier the dummy was kind of off kiltered and so it couldn't have come from the back here and and hit there it had to come from the actual side which we found the entry wound on that or the exit wound excuse me but when we look at everything everything just looks good everything looks uniformed and it looks like a round i'm happy to carry um whether it's in my 365 or whatever well guys i hope you enjoyed that it's kind of fun for me um i'm not a scientist i'm not one of these guys that takes this uh and makes this super detailed I just kind of want to throw some stuff together and see what happens. And, and I, I, I'm trying to compare the TUI from Fort Scott to other ammos that I carried, I've carried and shot in the past, like Federal HSTs. Uh, if you would have told me that there is anything better than a Federal HST 124 grain, I would have laughed at you. I said, no, there's nothing better. Or, um, you know, a critical Hornady defense, things like that. But what I'm seeing is I'm seeing what I want to see in a defense round. I want to see penetration. I want to see 18 to 22 inches of penetration. I want to see uh, massive permanent wound cavities, and uh, and I want to see consistency. And that's what I'm getting through all these different types of, types of things. Now we're able to say, hey, throw on intermediate barriers, and we're still able to get the same performance. You do that with a hollow point, you're still going to run into a lot of trouble or a lot of inconsistencies. Now I don't want to knock anybody's hollow point down or anybody else's self defense round. So if you don't have Fort Scott munitions in your defense gun, that's okay. I'm, I'm not here to say, hey, you're, you're you know, an idiot. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is this, that bullet placement is a thing, putting bullets you know, um, in the switches and not in the plumbing and the electrical and not in the plumbing shot placement is a thing when it comes to defensive rounds and defensive shooting. So we wanna make sure that we're doing that, but we're getting awesome results from this particular carry ammo. So I'll let you be the, terminate, or the, the judge as to what you wanna determine and uh, so on and so forth. So let that be that. Trex is here saying hold fast to the course, out.